Hi everybody, my name is Jeffrey. I'm a chief officer in the Merchant Navy. This is my next vlog. It's about the Suez Canal. I wish all the seafarers of the world a happy seafarer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, 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 so don't forget that if I hit 200 subscribers, I will go ahead and buy a GoPro Black. So if you like my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Here you can see us entering the canal. On one side, you can see sand. That's a desert. This side, the starboard side of Swiss Canal is actually on the other side is Israel. And on the port side, it's Egypt. You can see the vast difference between starboard side and port side. Port side, a lot of trees, a lot of settlements, a lot of houses. And on starboard side, almost nothing because it's closer to Israel, people feel threatened. You can see there's a lot of army posts here because as you know, always there's a threat of a war out here. It's pretty tension based area. But of course, Swiss Canal has been operating since many years and it will operate for many more years to come inshallah we are entering the canal now you can see the ship ahead of us it's called Everglobe she has two tugboats escorting her they will make fast in case of emergency so the case like ever given does never happens again we are leaving the Great Bitter Lake now the lake behind us and we are entering the canal as you can see there are two channels one on my port side you can see there's another channel and there's one on which we are entering very soon we are going to have a pilot change during this swiss canal transit we have two pilots one pilot will leave and the second pilot will come because egypt is divided into states so when we change the state, I believe the pilots change. So the place where we will change the pilot is called Ismalia. So very soon we'll have a pilot change in Ismalia, and uh, I will show you guys how the pilot changes. The ship doesn't have to stop when we change pilots. As she is moving, the pilots will come up, and the old pilots will go down. can see it's getting narrower and narrower now the ship is entering the Suez the boat's coming there that's our gangway you can see waiting for the boat it's coming alongside Oh, 
We have both pilots on board, so we just need to wait for the pilots on the bridge to come down and they'll disembark via this same boat. So the pilots are off now guys as you heard the captain it's lunch time so I'm going for lunch see you after lunch There you can see the bank It's only sand nothing else sand and stones And there you can see a better view of the settlements the houses trees a lot of trees The ship is not moving very fast around 9 knots per hour which is actually the maximum speed she can sail through Swiss Canal we can't exceed 9 knots according to Swiss Canal rules as you can see here very calm it's just like a swimming pool there's not much it's not like there are waves or something it's just, this place is not actually supposed to have water naturally and that's why this, you can see there's absolutely no movement it's very calm but there is a small current in the water all the time the pilots are very well aware of this either it's pushing or slowing us down so the pilots have to adjust the speed all based on the current what you can see here they are actually portable bridges for tanks you can see the bridges these are the portable bridges which are kept Here you can see the post where the, the army personnel said keep a lookout all throughout. So 
guys, now I'm on deck. That's a Swiss Canal at deck level. You can see. How the bridges are placed. Midget deployment in case it's needed. That's the Swiss. The bank of the Swiss. It's not very neat. It's just very raw. You can see the the way the stones are just kept. Here I'm at the forward. You can see the ship ahead and the Swiss Canal banks. As you can see, the Swiss Canal is really narrow. That's the water. It's not creating any wake. This out here is a very important part of the Swiss Canal transit. It's called a mooring boat. In case there's an emergency and we need to moor in the Swiss Canal, then we have two or three mooring men, Egyptian local guys, who come on board and with our crane they lift up this boat. So in case of an emergency, they'll come and they'll board this boat and help us to send the ropes. You can see the bullards. So we will moor the ship alongside in the Swiss Canal. That's only in case of an emergency, it's almost never used. But this is the use of the mooring boat. The aft of the ship, leaving the Swiss Canal behind us, you can see the wake. It's not that much of a wake compared to when we are at sea, because we are not going that fast. But still a wake. That's the ship coming behind us. Guys, looks like the widening of the Swiss Canal has already begun. You can see the Dredger already in place, widening the Swiss Canal. The new project they have started after the grounding incident. They are planning to extend the width of the Swiss Canal. And as you can see, it's very beautiful dredger already in place to widen the Swiss Canal. Guys, you can see this bridge. So this bridge is a rotating bridge. It rotates and joins the two banks of the canal, the other side and this side. 